There we go. Hey, everybody. I broke my mic for a second, but I fixed it. Anyways, <laughs> how we doing, everyone? Welcome on in. Hope we're all having a great Sunday there. And yeah, welcome into our weekly community showcase. Let's go and switch over the screen. There we go. Bam. Awesome. But yeah, welcome on in, everyone. I hope we're having a good one. And yeah, welcome to a jam-packed community showcase for the week there. What's up, Silver Fox? What's up, Seavers? How y'all doing? Good to see you two here. Just looking over the chat there. How are we doing, Becca? How are we doing, Argo Zoos, BHK, Planet Leafy, Kazia, Thiessen, G Rex, J Rassic. What's up, buddy? Good to see you. Let's see if I can get my thing to work there. There we go. What's up, Haribo? Good to see you, buddy. But yeah, I hope we're all having a great day there. But let's go ahead and jump on into uh, some some mods. We're gonna start with mods. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start. What's up, Todd? Yeah, we're gonna. Yep, Shrek Swamp is still here. It's it's been updated better than ever. Uh, but let's go ahead and check out some mods for the day, and uh, yeah, we'll kick off there. So cool, cool, cool. Let me bring up my list here. We have a big showcase for the day, so lots of mods, lots of blueprints, lots of zoos to go over. Yep, there's a lot of mods. You're right. There are a lot of mods. So cool. Let's go ahead and check out the first one. Actually, the first one, we're going to go a little out of order. Um, but the first one is actually right right here in front of you. Do, you. do you see it? Look at this. Where's the door? Hey, so yeah, Leaf came on in and made a null habitat gate, which is just like, yeah, duh. Just give us like null everything, right? So this works for everything. This works for everything there. Uh, so if we're wanting to build a brand new... You know, habitat we'll go over here and you have your glass or whatever the heck i got a phone call oh my gosh i can't take a phone call right now um but yeah look at the door is null there but you know the glass is left over but you can kind of build your own door over top of it there what's up bold it is it's you're correct you're correct but yeah look at here's the null habitat gate and that works for all of the different um barrier uh, gates and everything. I love this one. Look at that. You can build your own like um, you can almost use this for like a uh, and just like a maze or like a hedge area or something like that. But anyways, yeah, no, it's just really really cool. Um, always awesome to get our own um, you know null options to build our own things there. So awesome stuff there from Leaf. What's up, just Gorad? Hey 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 to you as well. Um, but cool. Let's go ahead and check out all the rest of the mods. We're gonna be focusing on lots of animals, a lot of um, updates this uh, this go around. There's a. Um, I told the modders that if they updated their mods in the last little bit, um, I guess there's been some big updates since you know, uh, for uh, for 1.8 that they can go ahead and do that. So we're gonna see a lot of uh, repeats from the past. So a little of a little bit of a like mod showcase like look back i guess you could say <laughs> you could say uh so the first one we're gonna do is the holstein uh freezing or is it was it the freezing cow Frisian, Frisian cow um but anyway so yeah i know this one is a redo um but yeah i know there's been a lot of really big <clears throat> updates to modding to where they can make them look even better there so awesome there so hey what's up christina good to see you Dude, dude, here from Savannah Stream. Welcome in, everyone from Savannah Stream. You are just in time if you are just coming on in there. Hope you're all enjoying Savannah Stream. I unfortunately missed it this morning. I was running behind getting my showcase set up, so I did not catch it, but I will watch it later on. But we are starting with some mods this morning. And the first one, look at the cow. Look at the cow there. We'll give everyone a second to come on in from Savannah Stream. Again, how was Savannah Stream? I know it was fantastic. She placed all the rocks down. <laughs> Savannah loves to use streams to place rocks down. That's It's a good thing to do in streams. Place rocks down, place foliage down, make a fence, you know, all the good things. But welcome on in. We are showcasing some mods first. And then we're going to go ahead and move on into some blueprint items. Lots of really good blueprint items for your zoos. And then we're going to go ahead and look at some uh, completed zoos, some projects, some habitat builds, you name it there. So, but come on in, everyone. Again, hopefully Savannah Stream was awesome for everyone. And yeah, here we have the um, the cow here from Leaf. So good stuff there from uh, Leaf. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one there. Next animal is going to be... Ooh, we're not editing a fence, are we? There we go. Uh, next one is gonna be the blue shark. We do it, we have a lot of fishies. We have lots of fishies that apparently have beached themselves a little bit. But anyways, here's the blue shark. Let's see if the other one, the female, is 
in the water. No, both of them have decided negatory on going in the water, Captain there. But you know what? We'll still look at the look at this fish right in front of us here. We have to go in the fish to see the blue. There it is. Bam. <laughs> so that works. Oh, it's gone. And it's back. And it's gone. But we kind of get a, a general. Oh, here it goes. Here it goes. I knew one of them was going to want to go to the water. Uh, but here's the blue shark. And this is coming to you by uh, Leaf and Buff Zoo. So if you were looking to do some aquarium stuff there, there's the blue shark. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Next up, speaking of fishies, let's stay with some fish and go to the royal, uh, is it ang angel fish or is that angle? No, it's angel, right? Angel fish, yes. So that one also is in the ground a little bit. That's, that's kind of how it goes with some of these. Uh, it looks like it's riding the turtle. The, the turtle is riding our angel fish here. So there, yeah, shark out of water indeed, yes. How do you install mods? You know, it's really not that difficult, um, Huntress. Uh, if There's a lot of really great uh, videos up. Leaf uh, in particular has a lot of great videos on it. So if you just search on YouTube, uh, Planet Zoo, how to install mods, uh, there's some great quick videos that will show you how to do it because it's really not that hard at all. And uh, they are really easy to use. So yeah, the turtle, he's kind of, he's taking a ride. <laughs> <laughs> he is taking a quick little ride there, isn't he? So awesome. <laughs> Let's move on to the uh, next one. If I didn't mention before that um, the Royal Angel Fish is from uh, Leaf and Buff Zoo. Leaf and Buff Zoo. Next one, we'll stick with some more fish. This one's a creepy looking fish though. This is kind of a creepy looking zoo, or uh, fish. This is gonna be the, uh, the African tiger fish. And this is from Leaf and Buff Zoo as well. They were kind of specializing in some fish uh, today. Oh my God, something's going on with the eye. Uh, but look at this thing. Not pretty, right? The, the royal angelfish next to it is. It's a bit fishy. Yeah, you're right, right? Any plans to release some more Brookfield Zoo videos? Uh, are you really liked watching? I appreciate that. Um, as long as I can go visit the, the uh, zoo soon. Shoot, I was trying to spit that out. Um, but yeah, I need to go visit the zoo in person. Um, I know there's, you know, Google Maps and videos out of Brookfield Zoo, but it's just one of those things where I need to, like, go to the zoo. It's been a while since I've been to the zoo, probably going on four or five years now. Um, but, yeah, I need to actually go back to the zoo. And then, yes, absolutely, 110%, I will definitely start doing that um, again there. So, but, yeah, I got to wait for it to get a little warmer out, and then I'll uh, go to the zoo, get all the pictures, reference pictures that I need, and then probably jump back into that because we have a lot more animals uh, that we can use for Brookfield Zoo recreation now since I uh, kind of stopped uh, building it. So, uh, yeah, thank you for asking. Uh, next one up. Let's see, are we sticking with fish or are we moving on there? Uh, yes, we're moving on. Oh, this one might be my favorite. But look at this. We have the domesticated dog, the corgi. <laughs> look at this. We have some corgis uh, have made their way into Planet Zoo. And this is from Leaf. Look at this. Look at the doggo. Don't you just want to boof, just boop it? Don't you just want to boop it a little bit? Just boop it on the nose. Be like, what's up, doggo? Hi, doggo. Never thought about installing mods in Planet Zoo, but having fish and fully in water animals would be helpful for mini aquariums and zoos. Exactly, right? Yes. Yep, I think it's a, a really handy uh, option to have there. So you get the queen's dog. Yes, there they are. So if you were needing some some doggos to boop the floof, there you go. What's up, Claire? Good to see you. Um, then there you go. They have uh, Leaf has you all set up there. So oh, you guys go yearly. That's awesome. Yes, I wish I could go yearly. Um, we were gonna go the last few years, but you know there's this thing going on that kind of <laughs> prevented us from going to the zoo. Um, but yes, no, this coming spring we're definitely gonna be going to the Brookfield Zoo. Um, and we're gonna go up to Madison and Milwaukee and go to their zoos as well. And I think we're gonna try and go up to uh, Minnesota's zoo um, too, because that looked really, really cool. Anyways, <laughs> uh, next up, let's do the weirdest looking dolphins. The, was it the Ganges? Yeah, the Ganges River Dolphin. And these are coming to you by... I'm just searching my notes here, trying to find... There it is, uh, Seth Buff Zoo and Whale Bite. And look at these things, they are, they they are interesting looking. So yeah, I don't know, just uh, I guess river dolphins have a much more distinct look to them than their 
ocean uh, counterparts. <laughs> so yeah, interesting the color and everything about them. So yeah, if you're wanting some, o or um, excuse me, river uh, dolphins, them Ganges river dolphins. There you go from Seth Buffazoo in Whale Bite. Interesting. I'm always looking at finding new animals from y'all from these uh, mod showcases. Next up, let's do the Indian Star Tortoise. We've been kind of seeing this in the background a whole bunch there, but that's all right. Look at this. So speaking of, you know, little aquariums and stuff like that, definitely could picture getting this little uh, Indian Star Tortoise from Leaf and Mega Gaming Rex. See those going into some of your little aquariums or even, you know, some of these animals are good for just like ambient type animals. And what I mean is like, you know, ducks or just like uh, geese or squirrels, you know, those kind of animals. You almost see like tortoises or turtles kind of hanging out by a creek side or something like that. So yeah, I think they're uh, great for that as well. Not um, Don't necessarily have to be in a habitat, right? Still, He's still riding the fish over here. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> so there you go. And for those of you, again, curious about installing mods, a lot of um, modders as well, if you click on the links that uh, my mods are providing, the, um, a lot of the modders, again, they'll provide instructions on how to install them on the on those links. So uh, definitely check out the description in, on Nexus. That's the site where you get all of these mods from. It's called Nexus. Um, but yeah, uh, go and check those out because they do a really great job of explaining how to install them um, as well. Okay, next up, let's take a look at the, I'm going to mispronounce this and I apologize, the Kamchat, Kamchata, Kamchata, the Kamchata Brown Bear. I'm going to read about this because I don't, I have no, I've never heard of this before at all. Uh, but this is going to be coming to you by Havoc1199 and Mega Gaming Rex. Do, 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 the Minnesota Zoo, I'll join you, love that zoo. Uh, or could go to the Omaha Zoo, Leaf may, Leaf may go with us. The home, I would love to go to the Omaha Oh, I can talk today, I swear. I've done it before for at least 30-something years. Uh, the Omaha Zoo, I'd love to go there. <laughs> it's on my bucket list. But yeah, awesome. Do, 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 do. Oh, my bad, Becca. <laughs> yes, don't put them in the aquariums then, yes. Whoopsies. Whoopsies. Uh, but this is from uh, Havoc1199 and Mega Gaming Rex. And I wanted to learn about this. Let me do the Zoopedia. That's what's awesome about these modded animals as well, is that the modders do it... Um, you know, fully. So it looks like a complete in-game animal. They have all the description. They tell you where they hang out. Um, have everything that you need for them uh, there. So where where are you from there, Mr. Bear Man? There. Oh, you're from Russia. Okay. Oh, from that little peninsula. Not little, but that peninsula area in Russia there. Interesting. Um, is a subspecies of brown bear is the biggest brown bear in Eurasia with a body length of 2.4 meters to 3 meters uh, tall on hind legs and weighing up to at least 650 kilograms. What's that? 1,430 pounds. Holy smackaroonies. It's nearly the size of a Kodiak bear. However, the skull is broader than that of the Usuri brown bear and compared to that of the Kodiak bear, the breadth of the skull is much greater in proportion to its length. You got a big noggin, bro. Um, so yeah, it's a really big Russian bear. A really, really big Russian bear. And look at it. Look at these mammoth big boys there. You're a good big you're a good big boy, aren't you? I almost want to use that in the uh, Europe Pack mini zoo, which I just released an episode of if you haven't caught it yet. <laughs> like an hour ago. Um, but anyways, yeah, really cool. Really cool. Um, subspecies of brown bear. Alright, next up, let's take a look at the red-necked wallaby. And this is going to be, we have two wallabies today. Oh yeah, we have the Bennett's and then the Redneck. So the Redneck is coming to you from Seth. Seth all by himself there. That's so fluffy. It is so fluffy. Right? what's up, Harry? The Russian, Russia's bee. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that little uh, peninsula part, yeah. Uh, but here's the Redneck wallaby from Seth. Look at the little dude. Look at this little dude. I love him. I absolutely love these little things right here. So again, this is from Seth, and since we're on the wallaby, let's take a look at the uh, Bennett's wallaby as well. I think that's from Leaf, if I remember right. Uh, yeah, and that's from Leaf. Let's try and find it here real quick. A little bit out of order. Watch, well, this could be like the last one. Second to last one. And then here's the Bennett's wallaby from Leaf. So we have the Redneck from Seth, and then the Bennett's from Leaf. And look at this thing, a little bit bigger. The coloring on it's fantastic though. I love that like orange neck or I guess neck to body with the really big white chest. 
They're so dorky. <laughs> oh, there. Yeah, look at them. And here's the. Was this the female in the back here? Yep. And here's the female. A little bit more subdued colors. Kind of, what do they do? They sit on their tails. The look at the chunkers. I love the body proportion to it. Oh my gosh. Wait. Do you, are you like that too? Oh, I love the body portion proportion. It is just like. <laughs> It is just a unit, an absolute unit. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the next one there. But yeah, get your get your hands on some wallabies there for your uh, for your zoos. Uh, next up, the Nubian Ebex. That wallaby lifts, bro. He does live. You can tell. He just he goes to the gym at least every other day. So chunky. <laughs> Let's check out the um, Nubian Ebex. Here's the female, and this is gonna be coming to you from uh, Leaf and Nicholas Lion Rider. Here's the female. Love again. Love the like striped patterns and the coloring on it. Looks really, really pretty. Look at that. Yeah, it looks really good. And then here's the I believe this is the male, right? No, that's the Seola. We're gonna look at that in just a second. Uh, oh, there it is, out in the distance. But there you go, look at the male with its big, commanding, uh, what, horns there. Huge. What are you doing, dude? And then the striped bass is like, hi, guys! <laughs> oh, no. Hey, Savannah, how you doing? Thanks for sending your crew my way. We've been just enjoying some awesome mods by our very creative and impressive community here yeah look at this nubian ebex he's a handsome bugger i agree i agree cool 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 next up but yeah again that was the nubian ebex from um lion rider and leaf all right Oop, already did the nubian Blue crane. Oh, yes. Yeah. So this is a uh, I think Bongo Hardwood has been doing a bunch of different kind of cranes now. Um, but yeah, here is the blue crane from Bongo Hardwood. And yeah, Bongo is always bringing us these amazing uh, birds here. But look at these. Look at these. Spectacular, huh? So until we get something official like birds, Bongo has us covered with these uh, flightless birds in the meantime there. And again, they look so good. Ah, nice, Savannah. <laughs> yeah, the fish is kind of running along like, hey, don't mind me. <laughs> yeah, Bongo is the bird king. Exactly. Yep, 100%. Every week, I feel like we're getting at least uh, one to two amazingly uh, detailed and created uh, bird mods from uh, Bongo. So there you go. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, there you go. Looks fantastic from Bongo Hardwood, the Blue Cranes. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, moving right along. We have these. Now we have, we can go ahead and look at the Saola. Now we can look at the Saola. Or is it Saola? Either way. <laughs> so here we go. We have both of them there. And this is going to be from Leaf and Monsoon. And this is actually, I need to learn more about this. Where are you from and what are you all about? Tell me about yourself. Is this like an African? It feels like Africa. Oh no, it's actually C. It'd be part of the CPAC. It's from Vi uh, Vietnam and Laos. It's uh, also called the Spindlehorn, Asian unicorn, or infrequently the, I'm not gonna try and pronounce that, um, is one of the world's rarest large mammals, a forest dwelling bovine native to the uh, Anamite range in Vietnam and Laos. Oh, interesting, so it's extremely rare. Huh, are there any in captivity? Like, in, are there any in zoos? Or are they, like, really just kind of a out-in-the-wild kind of animal? Yeah, the modders are killing it on a whole new level. Yeah, wait till you, wait till you guys see. There's there's um, some modding breakthroughs happening in the background right now that I'll let the modders kind of explain and show off first and foremost. But um, kind of gave a little teaser in my Europe Pack Mini Zoo um, episode today. But, um, yeah, no, the, the modding... Um, momentum is just going to be building in the next uh, coming weeks and months there. So be on the lookout for that because it's, yeah, the modding scene is about to explode even more. It's going to be awesome. Going to be awesome. 
uh, was in two, the last sale that ever seen was in 2013, and the last one of Captivity died in 2010. You were lucky enough to go see them. Oh, wow, so they are extremely rare. Not only are they rare, but they are extremely rare. So, wow, would you say the last one of Captivity was 2010, so 11 years ago? Or, uh, excuse me, 12 years ago. It's 2012 now, or <laughs> it's 2021, or 22. Ah, excuse me. Uh, but anyways, let's move on here. Next one, we have the Brown-Throated Three-Toed Sloth. And actually, we have two of them right here. They just refuse to move because, you know, again, they're sloths. Yeah, not in captivity. Yep. Need some jellyfish. I believe we see some jellyfish in the past. If you search it on uh, the Planet Zoo Nexus, I believe you'll find some. But look at these. Here are the... Um, the sloths here, I think we have two sloths we're looking at. So this is the brown-throated uh, three-toed sloth from Leaf. And again, look at these guys. Look at these guys. Yeah, they're elusive like unicorns, the Sayola. Yes, yes. But there you go, they never move. <laughs> they never ever move. Just like real sloths, right? Just like the real thing. So there you go. If you need some sloths in your zoos, and you know what would be it's kind of nice about them not moving is at least the sloths that I've seen in zoos they're usually in a you know an indoor habitat um I don't think I've ever seen one with like an outdoor area and uh, but yeah most of them are in very kind of smaller enclosures um and yeah they don't ever move right so it doesn't really matter I guess but yeah they're usually in kind of smaller indoor enclosures so it's kind of nice that they don't move almost it's flash from Zootopia yes I'll be right with you <laughs> i haven't seen zootopia in a while it's a great movie uh next up let's take a look at the alligator snapping turtle now this is a animal i am very familiar with <laughs> these things uh are all over the place in arkansas and a little bit here in illinois during the summertime but especially in arkansas when i used to visit my grandparents and yep they look pretty much like this they are they they uh, blend into the banks of the uh, creeks and rivers and lakes really, really well, especially in the uh, dense forests. Uh, you'll sometimes you'll be in the middle of the forest and it'll just be like a random little, like almost like watering hole or um, little pond. And the edges are usually really, really dark colored. Oops, excuse me, big guy. We'll get to you in just a second. But yeah, these guys blend in really easy and you can, uh, it, you gotta be careful because if you uh, put your foot down or your finger down the wrong spot, they're, whew, they'll get you and they will not let go. I've seen this thing at, uh, not the Brookfield Zoo, it might have been the Madison Zoo. What is that, the, uh, I can't remember the name of the Madison Zoo. It might have been the Madison Zoo where they were doing a showcase of these things uh, and how they eat fish, basically. And yeah, once they get a hold of it, they just never let go. Ever, 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 ever let go. <laughs> so are they quite big? I've seen them both. Um, they, I've seen them this size, usually um, in captivity. Uh, I've seen them this big, uh, but out in the wild, now maybe the size of the um, little tortoise, wherever they went, but the little tortoises that we saw earlier, those are more commonly the size, so maybe about half the size of this in the wild, at least the ones that I've seen. So, yes, thank you, uh, Seabirds. Yes, Henry Villas. Henry Villas Zoo. It's not a very big zoo, and I think it's free, if I remember right. Um, the last time I went, they were about to do a big expansion. Um, I think it was an Arctic expansion for some penguins. Um, but yes, it was Henry Villa Zoo. So hey, what's up, Lion Rider? Good to see you, buddy. We were just looking at uh, a few of your mods there. Um, but anyways, yeah, I have a, uh, a close connection with uh, snapping turtles and almost losing fingers and such to them. <laughs> so, um, cool, it's cool. Uh, anyway, what's up, Basic Builder? Can't remember if I said hey to you or not, but... Um... I'm doing it now, so. <laughs> Next up, let's take a look at the broad-snouted caiman. Very cool looking caiman here. This is the brown, uh, brown snouted. Where is the, look at my notes here. There it is, broad snouted caiman from Leaf and Mega Gaming Rex. But yeah, I love the uh, look of it here. It looks really, really cool, the, uh, the coloring and uh, the texture on it and everything just looks really, really nice, doesn't it? So if you want to get another uh, subspecies of caiman in your zoos to go along with the... What, what's the caiman that we have in game? I'm not going to look real quick. I'll let y'all uh, chat there. What's the caiman that we have in game? But it'll, maybe it'll go uh, along well with that one there. So we got it during the aquatic pack, right? Oh, man, I can't even remember. <laughs> yeah, it looks exactly uh, leafy. looks really, really good. looks really good. So, uh, next animal. 
Next, yeah, thank you. The curvier, curvier, the curvier. <laughs> I always think it's the caviar. Uh, the caviar. Um, let's do the. Let's do that. Oh yeah, here we go. The bass. So we have the striped bass. So we did see earlier, if you remember, he did kind of make an appearance. A little bit of a cameo here, but here's the striped bass. So speaking of animals that you know don't necessarily need to be uh, like in an aquarium or in captivity. Uh, you could almost picture this one being in like, just again, like a natural creek or a lake. Um, yeah, anything like that, just kind of being one of those just out and about animals, right? See, so yeah, really cool stuff there, the striped uh, bass, and that is from Leaf and Buff Zoo. Leaf and Buff Zoo. It's cool seeing a lot of uh, repeat names. You can tell like when uh, modders kind of get into a groove of wanting to make fish or wanting to make, you know, um, small mammals or whatever you know you can just tell when they're kind of feeling it that week or what they're kind of into next up we did that all right now we're on to the santa cruz island galapagos tortoise which we did see this earlier it was towering oh no no it wasn't that one that was towering over what was the what is this one oh it was this one yeah it was this one uh this is the one that was towering over the snapping turtle um earlier so these are big boys here these are big boys so the Santa Cruz Island Galapagos Tortoise. And this is from Leaf. This is from Leaf. Oh, don't they look great, Remnant? What's up, buddy? Good to see you. Um, but yes, there's just so many ideas I have for all of these uh, different, you know, uh, mods and everything. <laughs> so that's what's great about, you know, the in-between time. The three months in between of not having any um, DLCs or anything like that. Or animal updates or anything from Frontier. At least we get these mods. But you got to remember... Uh, at the base, they are free. They are completely 110% free. However, if you do want to take that extra step of appreciation to these creators, uh, Nexus does have a way. And again, it's um, Nexus is the site where you download mods from, Planet Zoo Nexus. Uh, you can kick back some, uh, some donations to the creators if you'd like to. So that is an option um, for you all to do there for, uh, for them making these mods for completely free. So there you go. Next up, getting near the end of our mod list for the day, then we'll jump over to some blueprints, some really useful blu uh, blueprints to look at today, too. Really, really good stuff. Whoops. Um, we have... Where are we at? Oh, yeah. The Hoffman's Two-Toed Sloth. So this is our second sloth of the day. Oh, was I looking at two different sloths that whole time? I think I was. What a, what a sloth noob I am. I'm a sloth noob. <laughs> oh no no here they are They're, they are different they were just both kind of stuck in with each other so here is the uh what did i say was the two toed two toes um oh yeah the hoffman's two toed sloth and this is by leaf let me make sure that's the right one hold on yeah, Hoffman's Two-Toed Sloth from Leaf. So there you go, another sloth subspecies. Look, this one's almost more um, fuzzy than the other one. It's so fluffy! Yes, we are still on mods, G-Rex. There are so many. <laughs> there are so many. But look at these. The sloths are programmed to go up the trees and nothing else. Oh, okay, that's good to know. That's great to know. Um, We will actually put that to the test while we do the rest of the showcase. Uh, oh, no, not this is not what I want. I want um, the climbing trees. So we go to that. We go to property. We'll go to climbable. We'll turn blueprints off. And we'll put down just, you know, any tree here. So go ahead and climb that tree. Climb. Hey, hey there's a sneaky peeky. But I'm going to let Nick show that off when he's ready to shoot it off all the way. Put down a few trees here that they might climb, I guess. They'll climb that too, I guess. Okay, cool. There you go. So they have some stuff to climb, hopefully. Um, but anyways, cool. Let's go ahead and move on to the next animals while they hopefully do their sloth thing. <laughs> ding, ding. The eucalyptus tree feeder works, I think. Oh, okay. I'll put that down too. I keep forgetting we have these new bridges, by the way. That you can, like, recolor each individual thing. They're, like, really useful. Um, tree feeder. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let them do their thing. Uh, next up, we have... We already showed off the Bennett's Wallaby. Okay, so we showed off the Hoffman's Two-Toed Sloth, the Bennett's Wallaby. Okay, last one is the... Oh, God. 
I was dreading pronouncing this. Zivactinus? How'd I do? Eh? Zivactinus? Is that is that even like remotely in the ballpark of close? But anyways, it's a uh it's a fish. <laughs> I don't know what kind of fish, but it's a fish. Let's see. Um, Latin and Greek for sword ray is an extinct genus of large predatory marine bony fish that lived during the late Cretaceous. Uh, when alive, the fish would have resembled a gargantuan fanged tarpon, uh, to which it was, however, not related. The species Portheus mol molossus, described by uh, Cope, is a junior synonym of... Okay, so it's, it was a really old fish, and it was like, ah! Um, is that civilization? Wait. Are those civilization um, images? Or like pictures? Or maybe not from civilization or from uh, humankind? I feel like I've seen these in a game before. Or maybe it's Jurassic World Evolution. The, the digger sites? The extraction sites? Wait! Is that the extraction site picture from Jurassic World Evolution? I know it's something. <laughs> I know it's something. Oh, it's the dig sites? JWE? Yeah, there we go. Nice. <laughs> hey, Domez, what's up, buddy? It's ginor- it is. It's, it looks like your ex bold. No? I can kind of see a resemblance to my ex as well. So, nice. Good stuff. Um, but anyways, there you go, everyone. There are the uh, mods for the week. And oh my goodness, do we have a whole, whole bunch of them. Uh, that's where they dug up the bones, like in JWE. I like that. That's pretty cool. That's a good idea for uh, for showing them off there. But so again, um, yeah, if this is your first time uh, kind of seeing mods or kind of hanging out with mods or anything like that, um, there's some great videos uh, from Lion Rider, who's in chat now, Leaf, and others. If you just kind of uh, search on YouTube for how to install mods, and as well, uh, if you click on the links that um, Cebras has and uh, uh, excuse me, Cebras and Silver Fox have been providing during the stream, it'll lead you directly to the Planet Zoo Nexus page for these mods. And the modders usually do a pretty good job of explaining how to um, install them. It is very, very easy. So if you're if you've been kind of uh, dodging mods because you think it's really hard to install them, no, it is like the easiest thing uh, to do. It's almost harder to buy a DLC from Frontier than it is to install mods. Like true story, that's like there's less steps I think to installing a mod than there are to um, buying a, a DLC from Frontier. So <laughs> there, there you go, modders. There's how you can uh, you can market your mods easy. Uh, less steps to uh, installing mods than buying a DLC. So, uh, but anyways, cool. Let's go ahead and move on up to the workshop items. And same thing as mods, there are a lot of them. There are a whole lot of them there. So cool. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and start with the first one. I think we're pretty much in order here, uh, mods. So hopefully it's you're not bouncing all over the place trying to share links. But yeah, um, it should be uh, primarily in order. So uh, first one we're gonna look at is the uh, Teton Trek or the Teton Trek Grizzly Bear exhibit from the Memphis Zoo, um, a zoo that I haven't really looked into. But everyone that I've heard that has gone there has anyone been to the Memphis Zoo that's in chat? Um, but everyone I've heard has gone there has said it's a great zoo. So, but here is the uh, Teton or Teton Trek um, grizzly bear exhibit from the Memphis Zoo. And you can tell this is kind of a recreation. You can always kind of tell. It always has kind of a, that zoo look to it, right? You can just tell that it, it's, it was really well thought out as far as the um, habitat goes and everything. So, have a good one, Ocean Raccoon. Thanks so much for stopping by. Appreciate it as always. So there you go. Good stuff there from Chickles. Not sure if we've seen something from Chickles before, but yeah, thank you for submitting there. Interesting habitat. It is an interesting habitat. The one thing that did not transfer over because they didn't save it within a barrier, uh, the, the terraforming didn't. So I think this is supposed to be like a little uh, creek right here, and maybe this is supposed to be dug out for a little pool. So use your imagination there a little bit. Next one up, let's look at uh, from Kezia. This is going to be the monorail station cover from Kezia. I think this is really cool. For those of you that use the monorails, um, the monorails in game, this is going to be a perfect little station for you to use. Good use of the um, new rustic pieces from the Europe pack and kind of a sleek modern design on top. So yeah, really cool stuff there from Kezia. 
But why would anyone go to Memphis? It's in Tennessee. Hey, you know what else is in Tennessee, though? Dollywood. But S-Stand is in De uh, Tennessee, too. So, uh, I don't know. It's a catch-22. <laughs> Do, do, do. Look straight um, out of JWE. There you go. Wow, that's yeah. I totally see that right when you mentioned that. Definitely. Next up, from Haribo. And I know we saw Haribo earlier in chat, but look at this. I'm gonna be using the heck out of this in Benton Amusement Park. <laughs> in Benton Amusement Park, but yeah, we have the Camel Kids Coaster. This is in Tivoli Gardens, I believe, which is a recreation that uh, Haribo, Christina, and a, a handful of other amazing creators are doing currently. Um, but yeah, look at this. Really, really cool. Really cool. So yeah, I'm going to be using this in Benton Amusement Park. Probably retheme it just a little bit, but I think the uh, overall theme is really cool. It's almost uh, done up too well. I have to kind of uh, jank it up a little bit. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, they did a fantastic job on this. Look at all the details. Can you believe that they built this out of pieces in game? Look at this. I know, uh, Domez, right? That's the one caveat is, uh, ugh, Dan, man. But look at this, is Planet Coaster 2, essentially, isn't it? Everything, down to the, the steps here. It's everything about it is just down to the finest little detail. You even go inside the station. Look at that. Fantastic. So you can put this inside your zoos there if you would like there. Yes, love all the coasters we're seeing in Planet Zoo, right? The community has collectively said, fine, Frontier. You won't give us Planet Coaster 2 right now. We're going to be impatient and just make it ourselves. Just picture it's Thanos, right? Fine, I'll do it myself. <laughs> but yeah, fantastic work there from Haribo and crew. On, uh, on their project there. We'll probably be seeing some more blueprints like this from uh, from them in the future. Yeah, exactly, Harry. Yep. Cool, 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 cool. Cool is the word of the day, exactly. Uh, next up, let's look at the indoor area for big cats. And this is going to be from Thesen 90 So this is the um, outdoor area of it. But the primary focus of this is going to be the indoor area. But thought we'd take a look at this first. Are those steps decals? Yes! That's what it is, yes! The uh, the decal piece, you're right. You're right, you're right, you're right. Like, when I was looking at them, I was like, I know what those are, but I can't quite picture it. Yeah, it's, it's uh, this right here, isn't it? Yeah, right there. Yep. It's decal Planet Zoo vent number five. Fantastic uh, little step there. Yeah, exactly, Seabrace, yes. Yep, I love how everyone uh, kind of noticed that. Um, but cool, let's take a look at the indoor area here. Oh yeah, definitely. Here's where all the details are. Oh wow, look at all the um, details here from the indoor to outdoor area there. This is really cool. So yeah, if you're wanting a really cool, realistic looking indoor area for your big cats, there you go. Decent has you all set up here. Very cool. Nice. All right, cool. Uh, next one, let's take a look at the um, amphibian house from Adam Up. And this, I can't believe that uh, they were able to fit this into a blueprint that you can just place down. Uh, but look at this. A big old amphibian house. And it's basically an entire habitat. You can close the doors to the areas too. Oh, okay. So on this exhibit here, yeah. If you're wanting to. You made it like a separate piece or whatever. Yeah, so that's cool. That's a nice little detail. Um, but yeah, though, look at this. This is a whole on habitat that somehow fit into one thing. What is this light? Is this a new light? Oh, European ceiling light. That's a really cool design. I didn't know we had that. I can think of a, a few different ways to use that. Here we go from Adam Up. Really cool. I love all the bright colors that Adam Up uses in their builds. I kind of always do in this with the really bright colors to get your attention. Really cool uh, geometric designs too. Ah, yeah, there you go. See, these lights are so cool. Like, I mean, the fact that you can recolor them, you can get a lot of cool designs with them. Are you going to do like the main like atrium room there? Awesome. So 
So there you go. And then I think that was the last room. Yeah, and then yeah, look at this big like moat going around this building here. Really cool uh, modern design there. So yeah, there you go. If you need a amphibian house all done up, ready to go, Adam Up has you covered there. Nice. All right, next, let's go to the small wooden rabbit hutch. And that's gonna be from Seabris. Mod extraordinaire. But yeah, here is the uh, the rabbit hutch. Look at this. Tiny little thing there, but great use of the new Europe pack pieces here. Here's the, um, what do they call this piece? The uh, window shutter hinge. Tiny little piece there to use. And we even have the rabbits on the inside <laughs> uh, with some little feed and everything. So there you go. If you're building a little farm or Maybe a little, um, I don't know, petting zoo section. Maybe not a petting zoo, but you know what I mean. A little kid section of your zoo that needs some rabbits. That's perfect for it. Um, yeah, I love this build. That's that's really, really good. So good job there from Seabrist, the rabbit hutch. You're getting that rabbit hutch? Yes, isn't it great? Next up, let's see here. Oh, okay, here we go. We have the... Um, we have the Shreks. Oh, you know what? I missed one. Let me get it real quick. I missed the Macaw climbing frame. There it is. Yeah, I missed this one from uh, Lucas on accident. My bad. My bad. But yeah, Lucas has some more climbing frames for us. This one specializing for the Macaw. And yeah, here we go. The Macaw climbing frame. And this is going to be from Lucas070. So always awesome whenever Lucas uploads something. Always very, very useful for our zoos. Actually dwarfed by the rest of the builds. I know, right? But it's actually like in scale kind of thing. So... <laughs> Yes, do a YouTube. Do the YouTube, Zebras. <laughs> but no, yeah, look at this really great climbing structure there for your macaws. Uh, next up, though, let's take a look at the uh, Shrek's Swamp, and this is going to be part two. Uh, we saw part one last week, and yeah, it looks like the build got even better somehow. So there you go. What is there, an interior as well? I bet there's a, an amazing interior. Yep, it's amazing. So cool. There you go. And uh, yeah, there's there's Shrek's two Shrek's Swamp Part Two. That's that's what that gets. <laughs> cool. So next up, let's go ahead and take a look at ZZ stuff. ZZ came in and gave us a bunch of um, really cool animals and everything. Um, so yeah, if you're not wanting to download the mods, uh, ZZ has come in and made some. Uh, some animals out of pieces, essentially. So, <laughs> some Shrek vibes from the habitat, right? Yeah, they did. They did the Shrek thing. They did the Shrek thing. It was it was fantastic. <laughs> uh, man. Uh, so, anyways, yeah, we have the AOTW um, Markor pack from ZZ. That's going to be this pack right up here. So a bunch of different animals with that. So you have the Astor, the Bukharan, the Kabul, the Kashmir, and the Suleiman uh, Markor. So there are all those. And they look really, really good for being made out of um, pieces in games. You know, like gutter pieces and all that kind of fun stuff. And after that, we have, let's see, we have the, I think I'm going to mispronounce this wrong, the Siamang, Siamang, the Three-Toed Sloth, the Yellow-Billed Stork, and the Japanese Crane. So, and I think it's cool that you gave an option to either have them with their wings spread out or not. So again, yeah, if you're not wanting to get into the mod scene but still have some uh, more custom animals in your zoos, uh, that's kind of a good way to do it. Um, I know ZZ does this, and we have uh, Drock as well. Um, but there's a whole bunch of creators that are uh, doing this kind of thing there with the small little piece. Yeah, those, the small 2D font pieces are a lifesaver. Right, exactly. So, it says, yeah, Markar Parkar. <laughs> Markar Parkar. <laughs> always. Uh, I always think that as well. So, yeah, really cool stuff there from, uh, from ZZ. Up next from Planet Leafy. 
We have a bunch of fun stuff from Planet Leafy there. Um, so yeah, let's see here. The first one is going to be the Pebble Tiles. And yeah. So here we go with the Pebble Tiles. I'm trying to remember. We've seen something similar. To oh, Haribo. Haribo made something kind of similar to this. So these, um, we have Haribo's Pebble Tiles or similar kind of tiles. And then Planet Leafy has these as well. Uh, so they kind of work um, really well in conjunction with each other there. So what's up, Adam Up? We just looked at your, uh, your awesome... Uh, amphibian house it's over yonder way shrek's house is blocking it oh no wait where is it it's right there behind me <laughs> i'm gonna miss it. it was right behind me um cool but cool next up from planet leafy we also have the um, overhead planters and light fixtures these are really neat i definitely picture um people putting these inside their uh greenhouses and such So there you go, some overhead uh, plants. Next up from Planet Leafy, we have the Vietnam French Colonial Shops. That's all these here. So it's really cool, unique style I haven't really seen in game. The new uh, grungy decals and everything make um, are really, really uh, nice for these. But yeah, there you go, the Vietnam French Colonial shop set next one we have the uh hold old hong kong street oh no none of the billboards loaded i don't know it's a planet zoo thing or a planet planet thing um i have all the billboards downloaded and everything they just never really feel like loading <laughs> which kind of sucks because it takes away a lot uh from the build but um either way it did a really cool job here with this uh again old hong kong street from planet leafy just kind of wish the billboards would have loaded because there's a bunch of like shops and advertisements and stuff like that so uh sorry planet leafy if you uh watch this back but um yeah that's just something that has happened with a lot of builds lately oh i love cloud gardens bhk i know exactly what game you're talking about that's, it is a shame because that's really like the big part of your of the build but i mean the architecture is still fantastic um but yeah, see, it's it's like loaded right there, but you have to go through, like, go find it, and then click on it, and then tell it OK, which is really annoying. It should just load in automatically. So, um, yeah, huh. Do they have power? That's a great question. <gasps> I do have the, yeah, I have the creative preset, preset excuse me, uh, turned on, so they do everything as power. So, delete the build and undo it might uh, load back the blueprints. So, you're saying... Do this, delete it, and then bring it back. Ah. Uh, no, but let me try real quick. Just putting it down fresh. No. Nope. So, yeah, I don't know what it is, but because, again, it has, like, all of them, like, loaded. You know, you can see the names of them, like, ready to go. But it just, uh... It doesn't do it. So I do really urge you, though, um, if you'd like to, everyone, download this and do actually load in the blueprints because it looks so cool, especially at nighttime. It looks so, so cool. Uh, Planet Leafy did a fantastic job uh, with this. Uh, Planet Leafy, I'm sorry, I can't remember. Do you have a YouTube of this or anything that people could see as well? Because, um, yeah, again, you did a really, really good job of it. So going into billboard things, selecting a different picture, and then undoing... Um, okay, so you're saying, I won't do it for all of them, but we can get just at least an example of it. Hitting OK, and then going back. Well, shit, that didn't work either. <laughs> we're, I don't know, now we're, now we're just kind of like, oh, maybe uh, if I do like this, hit OK, hit back. No, that didn't work either. Shoot! Shoot, shoot, shoot. All good ideas, everyone. I appreciate y'all uh, trying to get that to work, but um, we can picture it, though, right? You can picture it. Like a um, really cool, vibrant Hong Kong street and everything. So good job, though, either way from Planet Leafy. Not yet? Okay, not yet. So. Yeah, right, exactly, Dome. It still looks awesome, though. So uh, last one that we're going to look at today, folks, for the blueprints that we're going to look at some zoos after this is going to be, uh, speaking of scaling down, look at this from Begaboo. We have the tiny fairy houses. 
And these are absolutely adorable and fantastic. We saw these, um, a little bit of these last week, or two weeks ago, excuse me. Uh, but yeah, these are the continuation. But look at that, teeny tiny little fairy houses from Beckaboo. These are the best thing. These are the absolute best thing. Where are these, where is this flower from? Oh, it's the orchid. Okay, I never used those. I might need to start. These are, aren't they awesome? Yes, and just in case you want to get the scaling of them. I mean, you can kind of tell from when we zoomed in on them. But look at the scaling here. Frank tells all. But yeah, look at that. It lights up as well. Yes, awesome. Ah, look at that. <laughs> oh, man, that's so great, isn't it? So yeah, really, really clever, really good job. I, I uh, hope you kind of keep going with this and make almost like a little fairy village, you know, like a whole thing or have a little creek running through it and almost like a Smurf village. Yeah, there it is, uh, the Smurfs. Um, but yeah, really, really good job there from Beckaboo on the tiny uh, fairy village. So awesome stuff. But yeah, good job there from all of our creators. And yes, just like Silver Fox said in chat, uh, don't forget to go through and favor and like any blueprints that you uh, do end up downloading so, um, so that the creators can get a little boost on the workshop. Let's try and get some of these uh, creations to the, um, the top of the workshop, right? The front page of the workshop and everything so awesome good stuff there everyone uh but cool let's go ahead and load on in we have i think five uh four or five oh five or six just kidding uh different zoos to look at today and yeah let's start from the bottom right and head on through frank yep we got frank out <laughs> uh becca really said hold my beer yep she said oh you said small i'm sorry you want something small i got you boo boo <laughs> obsessed that's so cute right i can totally see people kind of uh taking that little idea and expanding on it i'd really love to see a, a whole like fairy village and, you know you, you kind of see those things in zoos and amusement parks too uh, I'm, I'm thinking uh, immediately epcot uh, epcot has the german pavilion excuse me get a little stuffed up um in the german pavilion they have a little uh, model train town i know it's not a fairy village or fairy town but you know it's kind of similar where they have like a little model train town uh kind of built and people kind of watch the trains kind of pass by i could almost uh, picture that in someone's zoo uh building a little fairy village as you're just kind of walking between habitats you know so something to kind of look at It was so much fun to make. Ah, that's what's really important too. You can always tell when people have a really fun time uh, with a build and everything. Oh my gosh, this is not gonna be a thing all day, is it? I cannot believe that. Apologies to everyone that submitted something because it apparently none of your billboards are gonna load in for the day. That is so annoying. Because it, it, again, it's like right there. You know, it's like, yep, 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 no. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're in, uh, I didn't mention the zoo name or anything that we're in. Uh, we're in uh, Chi Wai, or Chi Wei, apologies for the mispronunciation. Chi Wei Zoo 1.0 from Planet Leafy. Just keeping it with Planet Leafy there. Um, so I'm going to scroll down here a little bit more, see if I can get some of these to, I can't even find it. WWF, WW, no, there's no Anyways, yeah, no, so sorry to everyone if you uh, submitted something and had blueprints and it doesn't load in. I'm not sure uh, what more to do about, about that there. And check this. Uh, it's not in the... Let's change it over to creative preset. Maybe that'll do it. No. No, it didn't do it. Yeah, straight into Chi Wei. Yes, exactly, so... Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and check it out there. But look at this entranceway. I love the coloring here goes along with the font there the uh the greens and kind of browns and the whites go really really well together so good job with the coloring there but here we go the entrance plaza and this zoo is set in vietnam if i remember correctly so it has a bit of some asian architecture influence that's a blueprint from the workshop nice good usage of it there as you come in, we got our first few habitats here. <clears throat> Excuse me. There we go. There are the Alpine Ebex. Really nice uh, gardening up front too, huh? 
Let's start right to left. Let's start right to left. So again, when we're going through these zoos, <clears throat> we're not going to do a full detailed look at them or else that would take a long time. Uh, so we're kind of doing a like Spark Notes version or just a quick kind of overview. So do be sure to uh, download these zoos, subscribe to them and everything. So you can get a full detailed walkthrough look at them. Don't miss any of the fun details that they added. Look at this. I love this little hillside exhibit in the back here for our goats. Ah, really cool over here. This type of architecture is right up my alley right now. Oh, very nice. Look at this. Um, the koi fish. There you go. We have like a little koi pond here. And I love the separation between uh, the main lake and your little koi pond right there. Really cool. Yeah, that's a great idea, actually. Cool to go in. Come to like an African area. Really good use of the African pieces. Looking out over the lake, looks like there's an animal. Oh, yeah, there you go. I got the hippos. Oh, that's kind of neat how they use a bit of the European <clears throat> balloon. I have to pop it. Um, they <laughs> kind of use some of the European buildings as their hut, but you can still view them from the African area. <clears throat> Good mixed use of the areas. Safari rides. We won't go look at that yet. Looks like that's still kind of a work in progress, so we'll wait for that to be finished up. But look at all the foliage work. We got some TAF, some thick ass foliage. <laughs> Love the colors. Really bright. The oranges and the greens together look uh, really, really nice. As we're coming through here, you can kind of recognize some of the blueprints that we just looked at from Planet Leafy. Food Hall. But look, these are some of the... Um, the... What did you name them? The overhead planters and light fixtures there. Did you see... Yeah, did you see, see some of the elephants across the way? Yeah... There they are. You get a lot of cool views of the elements, it looks like. Look at the restaurant at night. Okay. That's why it's always great whenever the creator is here. Let's try it. There were a few restaurants, so we're gonna actually go over here. Safari Lookout Eatery. Oh, I love that it's a uh, Lookout Eatery. This is really pretty. I don't know if this is where you're talking about, but it's still really pretty. <laughs> The way that um, the way there is a front faces of the building, then there's a plain backside is so realistic. That's absolutely true, right? Only, you know, when you're building a zoo or a theme park, amusement park, you only build for what the guests can see. Other than that, who really cares, right? Who really cares? Love the ambience of it at nighttime. Oh, you remember where I was? Oh, yes, of course. Of course. Why would I go all the way backwards when you said... I love the colors right here. The pinks and stuff. But yeah, here we go. Here's the overhead lights in the food hall. Ooh, very pretty. Yeah, really, really nice looking. Those overhead uh, lights are... A pretty chef's kiss there. They are a pretty chef's kiss. Awesome. Let's go ahead and turn the lights back on. Woo! Bright lights. As we pop out here... Looks like we're in a little bit of a different section. Love this building over top there. Let's head on in. Check it out. Ah, it's the back um, area. The backstage area there. So this is, must be a really big uh, multiple habitats kind of all around it. Yeah, one, two, like three or four there. Monkey Island. Ah, very nice. It looks like we even can get across the island. Go across the pathway. Great guest interaction there. Very cool. I like this little um, food truck usage over here. You have all these little nooks and crannies in the zoo. And that's what makes the zoos really, really cool, right? They have all these little nooks and crannies, little secret spots almost that you have to go find. Very cool. Let's head back over this way. Ooh, I love this habitat. Flamingos here. Very plain looking almost, but the use of the aquatic rocks and temple pieces kind of scattered throughout. Looks really nice. Are so smooth with sorcery. T! Switching back and forth between T and then I use WSAD. 
course. But yeah, normal T is like this, like, you know, normal cam camera movement. But if you hit T, then you get on your kind of more smooth a little bit there. And you can also use, I have my Xbox controller plugged in. I can also use, now I'm using the Xbox controller to kind of move around as well. Oh, this is the Disney part. Yeah, here is Peter Pan's flight. The entrance area to, um, yeah, Peter Pan's flight in Disneyland. T is always the solution, Domez. You know this. <laughs> and also another thing, I learned this from um, from S Dork, but uh, making your scroll speed extremely slow is also great to do. So camera, edge scrolling, turn it all the way down, apply. So I do this now for my um, cinematics, but turning your edge scrolling and then having your mouse go just, oops, just barely. Just barely. There you go. Like this. Using a controller for Cinemax might actually be a really good idea. It's good for like straight shots as well as this, the slow pan. Um, I also use the controller, like the left analog for my um, Xbox controller and my mouse. Like I hold down the right or the middle mouse button as like my look around camera. Then use my left analog stick for the controller as like the pan. Um, you get some really cool looking things there. So, um, but yeah, no, the slow edge scroll as well. Again, um, for you content creators and people like to make videos, go to camera, go to your edge scrolling, and then turn it all the way down. Then turn it all the way down. Then you can also, if you hit Alt F3, if you have access to uh, NVIDIA, whatever. Oh, no, you can't do it in that one. Never mind. JK. JK. But yeah, you can also do it. Again, I love the, the slow edge scroll. I think it's the best one. And then in your video editor, just zoom in the video just a little bit so you can't see the uh, the mouse. So that's what I do. I just, uh, I'll just zoom in when I'm editing my video so you can't see the mouse wheel. But yeah, you get these really cool smooth pans there of the, uh, of the zoo and everything. So anyways, uh, there was your editing <laughs> and camera 101 there. What zoo is this? Oh, no, they got you there. Yep. Yep, they got you. Just don't, oh yeah, that's right. You have that option in uh, OBS, don't you? I always forget we have that option in OBS. Uh, good shout, Goron. Uh, but anyways, yeah, really good um, recreation there of the Disneyland uh, Peter Pan ride entrance for some shops and everything. Let's actually get a little bit closer look past the tree so you all can see the details on this. So they did a fantastic job. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Nice. It's bad. Yes, yes. It's it's a really nice zoo. Um, yeah, here we go. Here's some bison. Or we'll say there was scent, right? <laughs> we'll say there was scent, because why not? Oh, and then we're coming back to the uh, entranceway. I actually wanted to come down to guest view for this one. There's a lot of... Uh, there's some areas that look better in guest view, aren't there? We always tend to build for the birds up above, but... It's always nice to come down here. And oh my gosh, I'm glad I did. Look at this. I love all the uses of the grunge or gun yeah, grungy decals and the neon and the cracks. Oh, this is fantastic. Look at this, all the details. It's almost uh, a little bit French. I guess you say like a French train station? Maybe not. But um yeah, really, really cool. Love the interior there. That's festive. We had to actually turn the lights down real quick. Ha! Yeah, that looks great. This restaurant was from the workshop. Oh, okay. Well, they did a really good job. And again, it fits into the zoo really, really well. This is a bit of an S stand build. Oh, look, they even have the little booth back here. But yeah, this is a bit of an S stand build of uh, throwing it all at the uh, at the wall or throwing everything you can at the build and seeing what works. Uh, whoa, what the hell is that? Eater six? Is this a modded item or something? Wait, what is this? When did we get a blowtorch? Wait. You can put it like on the wall? I am confusion. Is this a light? I'm sorry. <laughs> Europec? It's a new patio heater? It's what the heck? Oh, is it part of the restaurant stuff? I don't ever mess with the restaurant stuff because the restaurants don't work for me. 
Oh, with the restaurants. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't ever mess with the restaurants because they're still broken for me. That's awesome. Yeah, nice industrial cafe. I agree. Yeah, it's really nice looking. So, uh, but anyways, all right, cool. We're gonna go ahead and move on. Really good stuff there, uh, Planet Leafy. Um, and yeah, can't wait to see some more updates from that there. But yeah, I am just blown away. That's an awesome little piece there. When was that? See, at least G-Rex is with me too. G-Rex is like, hey, when did we get a blowtorch? When did we get a flamethrower in game? I I'm for it. I'm here for it. Uh, so anyways, all right, cool. Let's go to Castle Zoo Upgrade. We've seen this zoo uh, months ago. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and take a look at it now. Um, and this is going to be from Kezia. Kezia came in and said that it might take a little bit of time to load in this zoo. So we'll see what happens there. So far, the wallaby or the kangaroo has not jumped a single time. There it goes. So yeah, it is going to take quite a while there. That's okay. <laughs> Bold Zoo is also going to take uh, quite a while to load in, but it's worth it. What's up, Max? Good to see you. The torch is actually a heater for the guests as well. Huh. Was it Heispils? Heispils? I probably butchered that. In German, it's a heater mushroom. <laughs> uh, until two years later, you're like, wait, what is that? Right. And the fact that it was able to attach to walls and stuff. Like, that's... I, I almost always hit V. If y'all didn't know, V is um, attached to walls or attached to items or whatever. It's really useful hotkey. V and F are both useful hotkeys. Um, I always... Yeah, the fact that it could uh, attach to different wall pieces and stuff like that was awesome. I have ideas. Would advise immediate pause. I will. I will do the immediate pausing. Do 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 do. Uh, they did update the restaurant and Planet Zoo with the recent, with, uh, yeah, with the recent 1.8.1 update. Um, the restaurants are still broken for me, unless there was another update. Did we already see the grizzly exhibit? We did. The uh, the Tekton one. The or the Tetan Trek grizzly bear exhibit. Yes, we did. They're outlawed, at least where I live, for environmental reasons. What's that? Those type of uh, outdoor heaters with the big like flames shooting out of them? They're all over the place here. Like every single bar you go to in the wintertime with like a smoking section outdoors, there's at least three or four of them. Must be very deep. Yeah. Yeah. There's, uh, there's two or three zoos that we have today that are very, very full, very complete. So they take a little bit more time. Um, while we're sitting here waiting, um, so I did cancel, as many of you know, as all of you know, I'm sure, I did cancel last week's community showcase. I will be doing this in the future um, if there's not enough items or content, basically. Like, we would have been here last week for maybe about... 30-ish minutes, maybe. <laughs> um, so if there's not enough items, I probably will just um, suspend that week and just move it to the next week. Give everyone another week to kind of uh, submit some items and everything like that. So again, if you're not following on Discord or Twitter, because I will update those two um, more so than in any other social media, uh, be sure to follow on there so you can get an update on um, if we are going live uh, that week. You'll know by uh, 1250. Central Standard Time, if I'm going live, because that's I usually go live 10 minutes beforehand and everything, so. <clears throat> yep, you may as well grab a cuppa. May as well grab a cuppa. <laughs> I guess while we're waiting, though, y'all should just go watch uh, the recent episode of the Planet Zoo Europe Pack Mini Zoo. Just released that this morning at 11 o'clock my time. So that was, well, like, I don't know, two or three hours ago. We added in the Eurasian wolf with a big old uh, English castle ruin in the backdrop. 
I know that the uh, zoo takes place in Germany slash Bavaria, but the um, <clears throat> the German Bavarian castles are really pretty. Like they're very um, fairy tale looking, almost. Oh well, that's why, because you have five thousand guests in the zoo. Let's get rid of these guests. <laughs> um, heads up, everyone! Uh, a really easy way to save your frame rate is close the zoo. Guests are the worst thing to have in your zoo for frame rate. So that, oh my gosh, that's why it takes forever to load. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Kezia, update your zoo without having any guests in it. So we're going to sit here for a second and let them all get out. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's Planet Series 101 there. If your zoo's starting to lag, close the zoo! <laughs> Do not have guests in the zoo. They eat up so much memory and... Uh, frame rate. Yeah, you guess. Yes, exactly. See, that's everyone immediately was like, no, no, not guess. <laughs> oh my gosh. There we go. So, woo. <laughs> hey, thanks, Seabris. Appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be Castle Zoo from Kezia as soon as we kick out all of these Patreons here. Get out of the zoo. Go on, get. Shoo. Get. Y'all stink. You smell, I'm telling you. We gotta close the zoo. <laughs> it's it's fine, Kezzy. Just uh, just in case you didn't know and anyone else didn't know. Uh, yeah, that is the thing. If, it, if the game does start to lag, kick out the guest. Don't forget there is the option also to set the... Do, 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 if you go to game, or I'm sorry, sandbox, guest settings, you can limit it. Oh, you did. You limited it to 5,000. We're going to limit it to 1,000. <laughs> there we go. I usually limit it mine to 1,000, and that's even kind of like... Ugh. Looks like a line um, for the Backstreet Boys. Yes, exactly, right? Yeah, you go on now. You go on now and get. Yeah, don't... Don't you tell nobody about this place, I tell you there. What? Don't you tell nobody. All right, we can reopen the zoo now. There we go. All right. So um, we saved a little bit of frames there. We'll go ahead and pause it. There we go. Oh, there's the 20 FPS that we're looking for there. So. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and check it out. You said turn around first and foremost. Oh, I'm glad you did. Look at this train station. The North Amersley station welcoming you into oh even it comes complete with a train as well hot dog hot dog hot diggity dog that's fantastic what a great entrance for uh for your project for the zoo and then you come on in and bam you are in the castle uh castle zoo so cool very nice entrance area there let's jump on in here let's see what we are working with we're gonna start right to left i usually start right to left Wow, look at all the awesome architecture and everything in here. We have really uh, cool Asian influences throughout. Don't forget we are just, uh, if we do miss some details, to uh, download this zoo yourself there and check out all the awesome details. Take some time to walk around, see what they have going on. Oh, I love the uh, gravel. Between there, let's head inside this building. Look at this. Ooh, it has a nice. Oh, whoa! Is one of these like polar bears in here or something? Oh no, it's the uh, Siberian tiger. Wow, that's such a cool idea for a habitat. I did not expect this at all. I especially love your use of the little icicles and stuff over here. I forget that we have those. Nice. All right, let's head out this way. I yeah, didn't expect that at all. That was really cool. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like this is one big habitat here. Have some... Uh... What do we have here? Caimans? No, Garials. Here we go. I can't remember the last time we saw a Garial on a build. Oh, look at this. Little uh, road walkway kind of heading down this way.
And all these buildings look really, really nice. Love the uh, reds and whites kind of put together. And then, oh, I hear the big boys. I remember the gharials, the males get ginormous. The females are so teeny tiny in comparison. Oh, cool. Look at this little food truck plaza. I love seeing these pop, uh, pop up more. Now that we have the food trucks in game. You have these little, uh, oh, these like, what are these, uh, tea houses? Really? Yeah, tranquil. That's a great way to, uh, great word for it. Yep, very tranquil. Another little Zen garden area down here. Good use of the new, um, <laughs> parse error in J, yeah. Good use of the new gravel pieces that Leaf brought to us on the workshop. Oh, really cool. This is fantastic. I love, 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 love this. The way it just strikes through the, the white there. Yeah, did you notice the billboards? Yeah, they actually loaded up this time, thankfully. But, oh, wow, look at the wood and everything. This is really good. Someone knows their uh, Asian architecture very well. Let me unpause it real quick. I think these are fountains. Yep, they are. Wow, really pretty. I think there's an animal in there, actually. Yeah, it is. It's a habitat. Huh. Alright, let's head down this way. Oh, cool. Look at the boat going down that way. Really nice uh, aesthetic as we're going down. Some nice uh, views. What's in here? We have the, the sun bear. <laughs> the big bright sun's uh, on there. Really nice climbing structures for them. Yeah, the Zen Pebbles. Yep, they use the Zen Pebbles really, really well. It would have been um, been torture to do that with the pathing. This is their first zoo? Is this their first zoo? Is that what they said? If so, then bravo. I know this is an update <clears throat> to the zoo. We've seen this once before a few months ago, I believe. But it might be a continuation of... The first one, the Asian experience. I don't know what the boats and <clears throat> everything there. Really nice details. This is your first zoo. Holy guacamole. You just have a really nice creative eye for this kind of stuff. Yeah, definitely I'll de uh, definitely load into this zoo and Tejid Cam, you know, walk around as a guest throughout this thing because there's just details everywhere. Oh, I love this. Look at this. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, that's really nice. Over here, what do we have? Uh, pandemonium. Whoa, uh, I think I've seen, did you make this? Because I think I've seen this on the workshop before. Or we've looked at that in the community showcase before. I, oh, this building is absolutely amazing. Y'all see this right now? Look at that roof structure. That's crazy. That is absolutely amazing. You even have an interior and everything as well. Did you play Planet Coaster as well? Or Zoo Tycoon 2, Kezia? Because you definitely have a just a natural instinct for these kind of things. Where's the panda? Oh, I bet we'll uh, stumble upon it here soon. I think I remember this part, the bamboo forest. Look how lush this is as you come back here. It's almost like a maze. I would love to go to something like this. Has anyone been to like a bamboo forest like this? But I would love to do something like this to go like right in the middle of a, again, a bamboo uh, woods, bamboo forest. I think that's really cool. Oh, you never played them. Wow. Yes. Yeah, so no, you just uh, have a natural uh, knack there. Ah, there's the fans that don't spin. Ah! <laughs> uh, I hope they spin one day. Hey Kubis, welcome in. Hope I pronounced your name right. Well, welcome on in. Hope you're having a good one. Looks like there's some uh, lemurs there. Huh. 
The, the Nashville Zoo has something like that, like a bamboo forest. That's cool. You went to one in the Vietnam? Nice. Crocs are always up to something suspicious. Always watching. <laughs> I love the uh, the contrast of colors here. We went from like those bright reds and uh, whites to this kind of subdued gray and brown kind of color here. Looks really neat. You went to one called the Sagano Bamboo Forest in Kyoto. It's so pretty. They look beautiful. Yeah, they look absolutely beautiful. Holy cow, this is like a whole another section of the zoo here. The Crux of the Imposter. Ha ha! We found them! They were being too sus. It's almost like a South America section over here. Oh, uh oh. Come on, there we go. It is like a South America section. I think I remember seeing this section. Yeah. The hotel in the background. Wow. Love the different sections um, so far. Well, look, it keeps going. <laughs> yeah, I remember this building here. So we're starting into areas that we have seen. Uh, but you kind of see their, um, I don't want to say, yeah, I guess improvements throughout the course of the time that they've been building. Because again, this is kind of where we um, look at the hotel. Yes, you kind of see where they started and uh, how it's how it's been going. <laughs> cool. Look at the pool and everything. Oh, it's so cool. Even has a big old interior as well with the new restaurants and stuff. Reception, bar area. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Restroom. It even has an upstairs area too, leading to all their rooms. Yeah. Wow. Let's check the rooms real quick. And you did rooms. You did partial rooms there as well. Wow, <laughs> that's pretty impressive there. Hey, Rebecca, awesome, yeah, glad you were able to uh, pop on in there. See, yeah, and you can see it from the outside too, look at. So yeah, cool idea there with the, uh, with the hotels. Oh, nice. And then again, I do, yes, now I definitely remember from over here. So uh, we're not gonna look, take a look at this because we did already look at all of this um, in a tour the a uh, few months ago there. So, um, but yeah, no, it's, it's really cool to see um, just, yeah, you're getting you know better at the game. You get more clever ideas. Your skills are uh, getting better and better every single day there basically, right? <laughs> Only basic rooms. I don't blame you though. They look great though for what they are, right? Um, so yeah, no, we can't wait to see some more updates on uh, Castle Zoo here. Um, and yeah, no, really, really good stuff. So make sure, hey, everyone, be sure to go and download this zoo and take a look at it in Tenjit Cam or just kind of spend a day there to uh, basically, um, yeah, take a look at all the fun little details in the zoo there. So cool. All right, we're going to go ahead and move on. We have a lot of big zoos to look at today. A lot of big zoos and big projects to kind of look at today. But yeah, thanks for submitting. We want hotels in game. Yes, but only if they do it um, a little bit better than they did in Planet Coaster. Because Planet Coaster, um, we had hotels in game, but it was just a black box that the guests disappeared into. That was it. So we go if they kind of expanded upon it, kind of like they did with the restaurants and stuff. Um, for Planet Zoo. Started the new zoo last night. Always fun. Always fun to start a new zoo there. All right, this is going to be the Joshua Zoological Park version one, work in progress by the Gek. By the Gek. Mm. 
Oh, God, excuse me. We. <clears throat> we. <laughs> so let's see, we have got that other way. So then we're going to be taking a look at Maryland Zoo entrance from ZZ. St. Victoria Zoo work in progress. And then Maple Ridge Zoo, and then I will finish this up there. You downloaded this one, but not looked at it yet. Well, here you, there you go. I'm looking at it right now. I know Gek's been posting a lot of updated uh, pictures and such to different servers on this zoo for a little while now, so pretty excited to see what we have in store. I don't believe this is for the new zoo series that everyone's getting into, but it might be. Yeah, everyone's getting into into zoo. The franchise mode that we never got. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, there's basically a new role play franchise mode for not just Planet Zoo, but it's Zoo Tycoon, Planet Zoo. You don't even have to own any video games to do it. Uh, but yeah, you can like role play owning a zoo. There's a whole server for it and everything. Um, so if you're kind of interested in that, there are links uh, kind of all over the place for it as of right now in different discords and twitters and all that kind of fun stuff so but anyways yeah let's go ahead and jump on into joshua zoological park hey, there's gek what's up buddy good to see you how do you download these and look at them so the mods have um placed a link in the chat let's see who did I can't scroll up for some reason. But one of my mods has provided a link in chat. If you click on that link, it's gonna bring you to the Steam Workshop page. There you go, Seabris uh, just posted it there. So click on it and then hit subscribe. And then when you go into your Planet Zoo and you go into your My Zoos, there's like a download tab, which I'll show you after we're done looking at the zoo and it'll be there. And you can just load into the zoo and kind of fly around and you know if we wanted to we could even you know be like oh, i want to redo the entrance you know it's your zoo essentially we can do whatever you want uh with it or you just kind of tour it around and look at it so um cool let's take a look here at the joshua zoological park <coughs> this is going to be from the geck so cool very realistic neat looking entrance here <coughs> excuse me But here we go. Ooh, yeah, really like the Wild Paws gift shop. We head on in. Very nice. I'm not sure what these are. This is like a... What's this supposed to be? I'm just kind of curious. Yeah, what, what what's this area back here supposed to be, the guy? There's that, but yeah. Look at this really cool entrance plaza. Kind of has a deserty type feel to it a little bit. I might not have gotten all of the modded animals, apologies, but there you go. Really like the uh, habitat design on them, really sleek. Uh, it was going to be for boxless shops. Ah, okay, good idea. Good idea. Yeah, really nice habitat design on all of these. Have a good one, BHK. We'll talk to you later, buddy. Kind of a modern, sleek look to all of them. Ooh, you have uh, backstage areas all over the place too. Always love seeing some good backstage. Huh, that's cool. You have the uh, road going over top there. Yeah, so cool. All right, let's let's head left here. Speaking of the kind of access route, Australia and the islands. New, they have Tasmanian devils. Oh my gosh, we have to see the new Tasmanian devils. Wow, really good um, foliage work everywhere. Yeah, we're definitely in Australia section. Oh, there's even some stuff behind us here. Ah, fairy penguins. Yeah, that'd be great, Carlisle, so we can make proper gift shops. Yeah. Here's an aviary. For the, uh, what is this, the kookaburra? Yeah, there's the kookaburra. Ooh, I like that. Like, overgrown. Oh, no, it's like an abandoned habitat, isn't it? 
Not in use at the moment. <laughs> That's a really fun detail. You see that all the time in zoos, don't you? It's not always just like habitat, habitat. No, it's like sometimes you see like um even if it's like an active habitat, sometimes the animals aren't always on stage, right? Sometimes they're in the backstage areas or whatever. Um, cool, uh, Quali Cafe. Really like the look of that. Good use of the new restaurants that my guests won't use. <laughs> Notice how they always, they all go to that there. They, they were, they're not going to use the restaurants there. Magpie Goose, but you moved it near the restaurant. Oh, cool. I love the little story right there. You did interiors for most of the um, animal buildings. Very nice. Okay, good to know. Good to know. I guess back here we have like a greenhouse. Here's some of those backstage buildings. Oh, yeah, you did. Yep. Everyone has their names and everything for their stalls. Ah, right, there you go. What's up, buddy? Coming on in? Yeah, it's, it's nice and cool in here. Have your water pumps. Wow, really good details with all these. Whoa. Huh, that's cool. All right, so we are over by the Quali Cafe. Let's keep going this way. New lorikeets. Yeah, yeah, basically, Harry. Basically, I like the little uh, cages here that you have before you go in that, for the double doors. Cool. Ooh, look at this over here. Big old habitat. I know we're kind of flying all around. Again, we're just trying to hit the highlights here. Hopefully to entice everyone to download this. And go check it out themselves. Oh yeah, look at the interiors here. For our, uh, our monkey monkeys. Orangutans. Wow, that's really impressive. Oh, well, it looks like they can climb all over the place, the orangutans. Like, all over the place. Well, now look at it, it keeps going. They just can go anywhere. The O-line, yeah, here you go. So these uh, orangutans can just kind of go freely. It's like a highway system for them. <laughs> Throughout half of the, uh, half the zoo there. Wow. Very nice. Right, let's head over to the um, other side of the zoo here where we skipped over. Have a good one, G-Rex. Yeah, I can't wait to check out Victoria. Um, hopefully you can watch it back later. I hope their arms don't get tired. Yeah, good exercise for them, right? So, yeah, there you go. This section is the reptile road section over here. Yeah, I was noticing all the uh, different reptiles. Yeah, big crocs, gharials. Look at all the different backstage buildings, too. Let's go. Oops, a little bit too low. Let's go inside a few of them. Yeah, really good scale, too. Yeah, you can tell right away. Ah, there you go. What's up, buddies? See, I think that's really cool, too. Look, you have the exhibit box here where they can grab them, and you have the other side where it's actually complete, right? I don't know. I just think that's really cool uh, attention to detail. <laughs> yeah, probably, Harry. Wow. 
Wow, so cool. There you go. Again, I know I'm sure I missed um, quite a few things, but hopefully uh, we hit all of the uh, highlights for the most part. But yeah, be sure everyone to go ahead and download these. There are some mods uh, that you'll need to download for them, as well as some animal mods to kind of make the habitats look more uh, complete as well. But um, all those are in the description um, of the blueprint and everything there so check that out but yeah there you go there is uh joshua zoological park version one so we'll hopefully see an update to this in the next uh, coming months and so um but yeah very good job there from uh the get there good job All right, next up, take a look at, let's do the Maryland, oh, no, oh, damn it. <laughs> I did not mean to unsubscribe from it. Uh, we're going to take a look at the Maryland Zoo entrance from ZZ just as soon as I go back and resubscribe to it. My bad, ZZ. Here we go. Hey, Virginia, you did make it. We are a little bit near the end of the stream, but we probably have another, uh, I think, three. Three uh, more zoos and little projects to look at. This is one of them. So this is the, if you've been to the Maryland Zoo, hopefully this looks very familiar, but here's the Maryland Zoo entrance area. This is going to be from ZZ. So it's a nice little uh, entrance plaza, or entrance starting spot for those of you that kind of struggle with making entrances maybe this will help you out you can use this as a starting spot there i love the look of it really cool coloring and yeah really good uh, entrance spot there so i don't know if uh, zz is going to do any more with it maybe uh, do some more recreation or not but either way really good uh little entrance area you get your parking lot set up over there and have the gravel like uh maybe where the buses and rvs park or something like that it's very accurate nice nice you study the map of the um, Maryland Zoo? Heck yeah, so there you go, everyone. Good stuff there from ZZ. Next up, let's do... Um, <clears throat> gosh, excuse me. Let's do St. Victoria. Let's do St... Victoria. This is going to be from G Rex, who just had to leave, unfortunately, but it's all right. We want to do a recreation, but it is a whole different skill set slash level, I think. Yeah, doing the Brookfield Zoo recreation when I was doing it, it's um, it's really good if you have gone to the zoo a bunch of times, obviously, because there's just some stuff that you can't really quite get from video and images. So, yeah, no, there's something to be said about being actually being able to go to the zoo that you're recreating um, to get all those details correct. Because, yeah, they're, at least for me, like wanting to get the scale right and how everything looks and the texture and the material right, it, uh, it can be a lot. <laughs> all right, so this is St. Victoria Zoo. This is another work in progress zoo. But what they do have done so far is very, very nice. So yeah, look at this entrance area here. Speaking of an S-Dan type build, this is definitely throwing it at the wall and seeing what sticks there, but this looks cool. And yeah, there it is. This looks like an S-Dan build, exactly. Exactly, even on the interior here. Love the flooring and everything. Looks really cool. Oh, I know it just Goran, but yeah, I still get comments on my Brookfield Zoo recreation videos who are like, hey, I found this really um, in-depth, really cool looking video of the zoo that would help you out. I was like, no, it just, it doesn't though. <laughs> you don't get it. <laughs> I need more. So there is that. There's a the little entrance gift shop area. And then you come into the zoo. And then this area is not so complete, but that's okay. We're going to go around to the side um, entrance area to look at the um, 
Cayman build here. And again, I love all the random just junk kind of thrown up. And look at this. What a cool idea with the waterfall. Having the um, Aborigine art kind of in the background there. I think that was a really clever idea. Again, speaking of clever ideas, this is heckin' clever. No, it cannot be used by guests or anything like that, but still a really cool idea to picture a keeper coming out here, hooking something up to the line and the um, alligator. Actually, you know what? If I remember, it's actually alligators that are in here. Here they are. Yeah, it's a North American alligator. So... Backstage videos are great, of course. Sure, sure. Uh, but putting them together is the real puzzle. It is, yes, and you're right. It does depend how accurate you want the recreation to be. Um, but for people like you and me, we need every square inch of the place laser scanned and then <laughs> take a million pictures afterwards as well. Uh, cool, let's go into Nightlight. Looks like this building might be partially done or a little bit done here. Recommend to view at night. Agreed. Here is Nightlight. Ooh, very cool. Here's the Aardvark, everyone's favorite to use. <laughs> I, I like that. That's that's a nice sign right there. Uh, the use of lighting in here is pretty uh, pretty good there. Like the beams of light coming down. Pretty cool. There's an upstairs too. Ooh, they even did the whole low bridge upstairs as well. Oh, it kind of changes over to like a rainforest type deal. Pretty cool. Oh, that's neat below us. Awesome, awesome. And then holy green, Batman. There you go. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and back on out. I'm going to be going a little bit quicker. I'm hungry as crap. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest with y'all. I uh, it's like going on almost three o'clock here, and I haven't eaten lunch, so um, yeah, I'm gonna be kind of going a little bit quicker with these last few to the point of maybe just saving them for next week, because uh, I don't want to do a disservice to the two creators. Yeah, we're gonna do that because I don't want to go really quickly through them, and I'm getting really really hungry. And I'm going to start uh, slurring over my words and stuff because, uh, yeah, I haven't eaten since the last time I ate. So a big, big, big apologies to Becca and Bold. I know you guys have been hanging out and chat and everything. But we are going to show those off next week because I want to do them um, a good a good service, not rush through them or anything. They are very, very good builds, uh, especially, you know, uh, Dunham made the uh, Dunham Zoo made the uh thumbnail and everything like that so <laughs> uh, i am i'm gonna get hangry i'm gonna get uh stupid basically and it goes one of two ways i, I either get hangry or um i have uh, what is it emo oh i can't remember with well, my blood sugars go low really easily <laughs> so when i do i kind of get all uh, loopy and everything like that um but yeah we'll, we'll start next week with dunham park zoo and maple ridge zoo uh right away so there you go so yeah the hunk you understand okay cool yeah again apologies to you too uh thanks for understanding i appreciate it but um yeah my, my little tum tum's got the rum rum so there you go <laughs> uh how could you you should starve for your content right i know jeez jeez but cool Hey, awesome. Thanks everyone for um, hanging out as always. Do appreciate it. Thank you so much for the creators for always, you know, submitting amazing content, uh, amazing zoos, amazing mods, amazing blueprints. Be sure if you haven't already, join. Just remember, we should probably get something going on. There we go. Um, be sure to join my Discord if you do have any um, blueprints or anything like that that you want to submit for the showcase. We go live every single Sunday at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Try to get your things in the day before on Saturday nights at um, usually by like 10 to 11 p.m. Central Standard Time. That gives me enough time uh, to kind of get everything together and go in there. So, um, but cool. Hey, thanks so much everyone, for hanging out. Always do appreciate it. I'm just trying to wait for this to, there we go. Here's the uh, here's the Planet Zoo Europe pack. Uh, Europe build or mini zoo build thingy. Gosh, I can't talk anymore. I'm done. Okay, hey, thanks everyone for hanging out. Appreciate you. Bye. <laughs> God. <laughs>